Three years ago, Paul Tribble and Paul Watson dreamed of becoming young hotshots at Lehman Brothers. But when the financial giant collapsed right after their graduation from Oxford, Tribble had a tailor-made idea. One day when I should have been interviewing, I ended up stopping to the German Street shirt maker who had been making my shirts for five years, and uh, he happened to be there. And I said, look, uh, my name is Paul Tribble. I'm, I'm thinking about starting a shirt making company in the U.S. Can I come in and sort of learn from you? And he obviously thought I was an insane American. The more I thought about it, the more we talked about it, the more I understood and was just like, wow, you, he's really onto something. He's not crazy. The two Pauls spent the next year crafting the dream, learning shirt making, perfecting their business plan, and convincing 15 friends and family members to invest in their idea. Yeah, well, they thought it was crazy, obviously. Not only had I had uh, no experience in, in design or, or retail, um, but I was going to start a luxury shirt business uh, in the worst economic climate since the Great Depression. But enough believed, and in December 2009, with production set up in Poland and office space in a downtown loft in Richmond, Virginia, Ledbury was formed, and it didn't take long for the reality of their journey to set in. And the fear as well when you get, you know, uh, your first thousand shirts and they're sitting on the ground here, you know, and you're, uh, you, you know, you need to get them out. There's nothing to spurn you like a, a, yeah. a giant investment in inventory sitting there that you need to, you need to get out. Last fall, Ledbury's story made the pages of the Financial Times. But when Tribble went to buy a copy... Swipe the debit card. Nothing. Didn't get a thrill. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, just swipe it again. Swiped it again. Didn't get a thrill. Credit card was maxed out at that point. We laugh about it all the time because it's just sort of the, the humbling realities um, of starting your own business. Things are looking up now. Ledbury took advantage of the economy to strike great deals on office space and getting their website built. And it's paying off. They're selling about a thousand units a month, setting themselves apart by focusing on the fit and design of their shirts. It's managing to sort of keep your head above water and, and let the little stuff fall by the wayside and keep your sort of eye on the prize. I think very much we're trying to build a brand that reflects the things that we like at this point. And I think people um, are not only buying into the clothes, but buying into to us and really, you know, the story and what we're trying to do with our clothes. One thing I want to know, do you ever wear anyone else's shirts? No, no, we, we don't. We don't. <laughs> I think it's probably been about two years since I've worn somebody else's shirt. At um, least, yeah. But that's great. If you make it, you've got to wear it. We love it. Uh, and of course, the one day that we didn't wear it, somebody would ask us, is that one of your shirts? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. The Paul's advice for other entrepreneurs? Go for it. Talk to as many people as you can about your idea and do it with a friend. I think we were a little bit lucky because we were forced into taking a leap and happened to have an idea of something we really wanted to do that we loved. There's very few people that get the opportunity to do what they love to do and sort of finding you know, that passion and purpose to your daily work day is, is something that's uh, you know, life changing and it certainly has been for Paul and I. For them, small business has been a perfect fit. Larry Smith, CNN, Richmond, Virginia.